Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Central Bank Thursday, December 15th. We got uh, a trio of central banks coming our way. First, the SNB uh, might raise rates to 1%. Uh, then we have a UK central bank might raise rates to three and a half. I think three and a half is probably going to be the number. And then the European Central Bank um, going to raise to two and a half, probably. Um, we also have retail sales out of the U.S. Empire, uh, Empire State Manufacturing. Um, so a lot, lot going on. Industrial production out of the U.S. Going to be a busy day. Um, so let's take a look at this, see what's going on. Yesterday, FOMC did uh, as expected, what everybody thought. Let's start with Dollar Swiss. Uh, we were buying low ones, just playing around, right? So we made some money just sort of playing that sort of 2050 area in Dollar Swiss. Um, we thought we might get a uh, double bottom at 33 but we did slip through just before down to 17 but again we weren't afraid euro swiss was doing its usual bullshit right in fact we scooped some up today i mean yesterday uh euro swiss at the fix bang down to 35 on some sort of idiotic dumb flow um and that was i wouldn't say easy pickings but that worked out pretty well and helped us uh Comf be more comfortable with dollar Swiss just from a P&L perspective, right? Um, it's kind of the same trade, long Euro Swiss, long dollar Swiss when you're trying to pick up low ones. Anyway, um, more of the same today in dollar Swiss. We will try and buy low ones um, somewhere between sort of say 30 and 92 cents, 92 centimes if you want to be more specific about it. Um, that's in play today. We're not really touching this at 92.50. We're not going to chase this higher either. 74 was the high, FOMC high, just, just for shits and giggles. This is a super interesting chart. We've been talking about it all week. Today is the day that this could easily happen, right? You have ECB uh, and MPC, um, and then you have Euro Sterling. We're going to sell through 70. We're going to add through 60. We're going to trade short between 60 and 75. And then we're going to add through 50, the 200 day. Um, pretty straightforward momentum trade. Going to be tricky with all of this news coming out today. So not for the faint of heart. Uh, and obviously, if this goes higher, we don't care. We're not going to pre. We're not going to pre-sell this because um, it could just shoot straight higher. But this pattern and chart is, is definitely in play today. Last night on Twitter, we talked about uh, short cable because uh, of this double top at 124.50 is in. Uh, we've been trading that a little bit. You know, we sold 26s. Uh, we bought 90s. We just sold figures, uh, trying to get our average as close to uh, 124.50 as possible. Um, but that said, um, every man and his dog will be looking at 123.42 today, right? This is the neckline of that double top. This is the bull bear pivot we talked about yesterday. Um, the FOMC low was 44 um, so expect some stops starting at 43 down to 38 today um, and that might be it might be an interesting place to um, sell some cable uh, obviously you can't leave a 124.50 stop if you're going to sell at 123.44 you got to tighten that shit up uh, and then you got to be aware that 123.10 is support so uh, but I do expect to see some of the bigger names smacking the pony uh, at 123.43 today. Dollar Cad not doing anything. Uh, can someone tell the mafia who is 
trading dollar cad or the people who are trading dollar cad that fucking oil is like almost seventy seven dollars dollar cad has not moved all week you can see this is just flat line bullshit um I get cranky about it because my euro cad didn't work uh even though it was a beautiful setup and everything worked except for the price of euro cad which just it was like I don't know dick in a box uh so that was annoying but such is life we move on let's pull up eurocad just so you see how dicky it is this is a slightly upward sloping trend here while oil is going up 10 percent um i don't know first thing first two words that come to mind are blow me um but since i'm the only one sitting here i can't really blow myself I'll just have to leave it. Moving on. Dollar yen. I don't, I did not understand that move to 134.56. There's no way fucking Karuta is going to raise rates in Japan um, or change policy. He do totally does not give a fuck about dollar yen at 135. I'll tell you that for free. Um, we collected some shit at 135 wore some pain <clears throat> we did get paid on the FOMC move higher but it was not I would say one of our best trades um, I don't understand dollar yen right now uh, I mean just gotta look at rates what are we, where are we here on the 10s 349 really unchanged dollar yen could go um, either way depending on which way rates go um, anyway we're sticking with the pussy version of this dollar Swiss, just less fall, and I guess maybe we're just old, and of course we also live in Switzerland, so what else is out here? Aussie, uh, our pals in Chicago, still short this shit, it's a nice trade, um, some weak numbers out of China overnight, adding to uh, the downside here did trade 12 on the FOMC um, burst so that's an important point um, Aussie could go a lot lower uh, if US rates kind of just ease up to 360 365 like we said we think the equity highs for the rest of the year are in that's not a huge call right because the year ends in two weeks but I don't think we're gonna see uh, anything close to 41780 again and if equities do just kind of slump and wilt over a bit, Aussie also will go left. Anyway, um, not really much to say or much to do at this point. We have SMB, which is first. They're usually um, pretty predictable and don't create tons of all. Um, so we don't really have any plans for SMB. We're certainly not going to have... That said, we're certainly not going to sit there with some some bids in dollar Swiss for the SMB in case something bizarre happens. Um, you know, if you're getting given dollar Swiss at 92 centimes at the SMB, it's probably going to 90, right? What we're looking for with SMB is no vol, predictable, raise 50, 1% rates, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, but we don't, we want to clear the order board of Swiss risk just in case, um, you know, those guys drank too much schnapps last night and decided to do something weird. Uh, and then we have, um, MPC 1 PM and ECB 2.30 and then the press conference afterwards. So the afternoon is going to be stacked. The morning looks pretty quiet, rangy. Uh, good time to get some exercise and get your mind right for a busy, busy afternoon. Anyway, said enough. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead, make some dough. Why not? You deserve it. Ciao.